Good morning, everybody. Welcome back <clears throat> to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video. An update on Render. Um, was needed. I mean, I, I'll, I'll keep covering Render as long as it's, uh, as long as it's behaving like this. Um, but it also has found some resistance since yesterday. Um, not that much. I mean, it has dropped down from, from this top right here at 2.67 to where it is right now. 2.43 so i still wanted to do an update on that give you my thoughts on what's happening right now uh give you my thoughts on whether render is still able to hit this price target between 2.75 and 2.9 dollars uh, which is at least my major price target. that's also the previous high i believe uh, right here as you can see uh, and then afterwards we'll, we, we can start talking about uh, hitting three dollars again but now that we're getting some bearish momentum that is not the main question all right, so let's take a look at Render. All right, we'll do a full update. Um, I do want to quickly state that I think there's some manipulation going on with Render, uh, but that in the end, it's a great project. All right, so it does deserve this momentum uh, and there's a great community behind it as well. All right, so even though I do think it's a bit, bit manipulated, it doesn't matter. All right, it just doesn't. So when take a look at Render right now, what you'll see is that uh, since, since Sunday afternoon actually, it has lost some momentum. Uh, you can see right here that it was gaining um, gaining open interest and volume practically since last week Wednesday. So then it was very bullish, and that's also what we saw. Uh, what we saw, I mean, uh, since last week, like uh, Wednesday, we got that bullish breakout and that rally up to 2.6. It's losing some of that right now, but it's not necessarily like it has been dropping quite a bit since yesterday afternoon. But it's not that low. Like it's at the same levels it was at. Uh, the 28th on saturday which the price is also almost at the same levels and what's also interesting is that if you like, like there's a lot of what, what what render seems to be doing or at least what what the traders behind render seem to be doing is they seem to be looking for this liquidity down here and um, there was a lot of liquidity between 2.4 and 2.3 all right so that is this area right here on the chart and you can see uh, that they have already grabbed some liquidity right here some some liquidations have happened and there's still a huge amount around 2.3 so um what i would say is that render will um look for that liquidity all right because right now the the, the main key level i would say is 2.5 2.5 is a big psychological level um that was a a resistance level which render broke above and now it, so then it turned into support broke down below that again which is bearish confirmation so now it's resistance again and it needs to break above that to rally up higher if that makes sense um so what i would what i would expect is that render will hunt for a little bit more liquidation uh, or a little bit more liquidity i should say all right and that's also I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's in line with bitcoin because bitcoin isn't necessarily bearish today um but it is the end of the month we have seen some pullbacks from bitcoin and if bitcoin does pull back render will follow so i would expect that render also after like like technically we also got some bearish confirmation so what i would expect is that render will grab some more liquidity down uh, below 2.3 dollars um maybe spike down towards 2.25 it's a possibility but still doesn't matter but that it will find support there and that it will test 2.5 again and my thoughts are that it will be most likely that it will break back above 2.5 and rally up to the price target between 2.8 and 2.9 dollars those are my thoughts. I, I don't think the, the bullish momentum for render is over yet. Now, it does depend. See, the problem is, is that there is a lot of liquidity down there. What could also be the case is that that's exit liquidity. And if that is exit liquidity, what will happen is that render will spike down and that it will not be able to break above $2.5 again. So if that's the case, and I will keep you updated on that, this could be the start of a reversal down to 22 2.15 and perhaps even two dollars so that's what we'll have to wait for like i said i think it's most likely that render will retake 2.5 as a support and rally up higher um but i will keep you updated on that because it, the situation could change all right so those are my thoughts on render if you do have any questions let me know uh, and lastly i also have my own premium trading group in which i share all of my trades as signals and you gain access to an amazing community full of traders and my trading guide so if you want to make some money while trading and also become a better trader yourself consider joining links will be down in the description but for now thank you for watching take care and bye